There was a popular saying in 1960s China. If you were a single man and looking for a wife, no one would marry you if you didn't have a watch. And that watch had to be a Shanghai watch. This was the Rolex of China. This is Feng Yumin. He's been making Shanghai watches for over 40 years. I was from 72年開始,那個時候而且上海牌手錶在全國人民的心目中印象是很好的. During the 1960s and 70s, it was a status symbol for China's Communist Party elites. It was said that one out of every four Chinese people who wore a watch in the 1960s wore a Shanghai watch. Before a man could get married, he needed to own a bicycle, a sewing machine, a radio, and a watch. The watch was coveted because it was China's first mechanical watch, which very few people knew how to make back then. It was a challenge because technicians at the time only knew how to repair imported watches. Yingbi,有的 for decades, the Shanghai watch enjoyed an unparalleled reputation in China. But when the Chinese economy opened up in the 80s, foreign brands like Casio, Orient, Swatch and Longines entered the market. The Shanghai watch company couldn't compete and eventually fell into obscurity. 2006 was the first time we came to Shanghai. We're doing a lot of design toys, we're doing a lot of sneaker culture. Lin is a designer and was partly responsible for Shanghai Watch's revival. I was drawn to it because I was thinking that why is this such a famous historical name? So I called them and asked them and told them that I want to make some watches. The company invited her to a factory tour, but when she went, she just saw people milling about. The first time I went, I didn't see any great watches. I don't see craftsmen. I somewhat found the factory uh, manager. I asked him to bring out some old watches and he showed me some of the models. I said, why don't you produce this? These are amazing. He said, the machine are old and nobody used them. And then we have to convince them to fix the machines. Once the factory was on board and the machines were dusted off, Lin and her team went to work on new designs. So we did five designs, very limited, I think it was only 500 watches. One of the designs is based on the calligraphy of the word Laolu, the local dialect, the Shanghainese dialect, and means like really cool. And the other one was calligraphy from 1 to 12. And the third one, which is based on hand signs. What I wanted to do is to create some stir to show them that when this design went overseas and when we told the story, people will look at China a little bit differently. It quickly sold out. The project renewed interest in Shanghai Watch and the brand unveiled a new marketing structure, a new logo and a new dial designed by a renowned Swiss watchmaker. They produce a couple of high-end pieces complete with a tourbillon mechanism you might find on a Rolex. Because our 
Xi'an Pimei. Whether the brand can compete in China, where people can afford actual Rolexes now, remains to be seen. But one thing is clear: a Shanghai watch is no longer the status symbol it once was in China. 